Good morning. Um, this was a study done in um, a tertiary referral center in UK, uh, the Birmingham Midland Eye Center. Uh, in the West, the incidence of skin cancer is increasing, and 5 to 10 percent of skin cancers in the periocular area um, constitute large numbers. BCCs are the commonest subtypes and surgical excision still remains the mainstay of treatment. Periocular BCCs are generally considered high risk if left untreated. And ophthalmologists still in, in the UK follow British Association of Dermatologists guidelines because ophthalmology per se does not have any definitive guidelines. So their suggestion is four millimeter excision margin for low risk and five millimeter excision margin for high risk cases. There is no guidance about histological uh, margins. And the degree of subclinical spread has to be considered by ass assessing the histological margins. And traditionally, one millimeter of histological margins have been accepted, but some studies of which there are very few suggests that greater than 0.2 millimeter is good enough for skin cancers. And as I mentioned, there is very little uh, in the literature to support this. So our aim was to determine a minimum safe histological margin in patients with nodular BCCs in order to limit the amount of tissue removed in the periocular region. So these are some of the lesions and the defects left and as you can see that the defects are becoming bigger by the day. So to make up for these, complex um, procedures are required and that often leave disfigurement and not the best of results. So if treated early and if treated with lesser margins, they might be useful. That was the idea behind our study. So we looked at um, a single center retrospective case study of 100 cases between 2014 and 2020. And most patients underwent two stage excision and reconstruction. Uh, we call it slow mos. And further tissue was excised if the histological margin was less than one millimeter. Um, the results there were 94 cases of inf uh, BCC. Six cases uh, were taken out because two were squamous cell carcinomas and four were lost to uh, follow up. And histological clearance margin of one millimeter was not found to have a significantly lower risk of recurrence when compared to margins between 0.25 and 0.99 millimeters. So the kaplan mark curve here shows that there is a significant, um, a statistically significant correlation in, relation, in um, margins of 0.25 to 0.99, and there was no significant um, relation in terms of um, lesions uh, with ma margins of more than one millimeter. So this was a flow diagram uh, which uh, shows, uh, interestingly, that further excision margins, most of them showed that there was no tumor present. So to conclude, we found that 0.25 millimeter or more and less than one millimeter was giving us enough and comparable to literature and bad guidelines recommend three millimeter. So we have recommended 0.25 millimeter margins which has been accepted by our local skin MDT uh, for nodular BCCs. And these are our references. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So just an observation that in that group that had margins less than 0.25, uh, additional excision was done in all but two, and uh, no tumor was found in, it was, two additional tumor was found only in one. But four cases in which no tumor was found actually had recurrences. Yes, so this was the interesting bit. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I'll let no, you No, that was it. So I wanted to how, how does, how, how does it, how, then isn't that uh, telling us that margins lesser than 0.25 is a little too close? So of those four, uh, two were the infiltrative variety when we found, when on the second excision, right. we found the infiltrative variety. Got it. And two, we could not explain. 
So which is why we found that comparatively the numbers were so low mm -hmm. that I think the advantages outweigh the disadvantages. And what was your follow-up period? How long did you follow up? So these, these ha had a minimum follow-up of three years. Three years. And then obviously because ours is a tertiary center, everything gets referred back if they get a recurrence. So anything that didn't come back was presumed that there was no recurrence. I think this is a good, thank you, good guideline. Thank you.